Welcome back. If you are new to my channel, hi, my name is Yasmin. Thank you so, so much for being here. And the fun fact for this video is that I love lettuce. That's kind of a fun, weird vegetable out of all the vegetables, but lettuce is literally my favorite. I can eat that like chips. I eat it with like salt and lemon or just by itself. I love lettuce. It's so good. <laughs> so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a mermaid inspired type of makeup today. I've never done this mermaid look before, but I love blue. I love silver. I love mermaid colors they're so pretty but i mainly want to focus on like the blue silver and i'm pretty much that's pretty much it i got here it's because i i just i don't know i love blue and i love i think the colors and just the idea of a mermaid makeup really catches my eye i don't know but i want to do my take on it and i hope you guys like it and i do want to do it in a more wearable way if that makes sense so you can definitely do the techniques that i'm going to do on my eyes for eyeshadow but also if you want to kick it up a notch maybe for halloween or something you can also do it for that as well if in case you have like a halloween costume you want to wear it for but um yeah i'm super excited to do this look for you guys so if you guys want to know how to get the look then go ahead and just keep watching <music> The first thing I'll be doing is adding tape to my eyes because I am going to add a wing liner to this look and I already have my hair all crazy, done my skincare, eyebrows on, my eyes are primed and ready for eyeshadow but I can't do that unless I have my tape on so I'm going to do that really quick. Again, if you do not need to do this if you already know how to do a wing liner so I'm going to put this on and I'll be right back. Alright, so I have my tape on my eyeball so I'm going to go in first. I'm, again, I'm going to use a couple of palettes to achieve this look. So. Please don't be mad at me, but I'm going to go in with my Morphe 35V palette, and I'm going to go into one of the nude shades that I use a lot um, for my eyes, and I'm going to go in with the shade Scandal, which is right there, and I'm going to, sorry about the sun, it's peeking through pretty good right now, I'm filming a little later than usual, and the sun's usually never this strong, but anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and put that all over my lid and crease area. Now with a different blender brush, I'm going to grab this Alomar Cosmetics blending brush. It's pretty fluffy. And I'm actually going to go into my Lunar Beauty pla palette, palette. And I'm going to go in with the shade Kiki. I think that's what it is. Kiki. Yep. Right in here. It's a really bright blue. Like It's, it's like a minty blue. So I'm just going to add that to my crease. I'm going to pack this on my brush. And start swiping that into my crease. You really do got to build this color up. I'm just going to go back and forth. You see how you're kind of building your crease there? Just keep going back and forth. I'm kind of doing like a cut crease moment here. Now on a smaller brush, I'm going to go into my Jaclyn Hill X Morphe Vault Collection, and I'm going to go in with, which one's this one? I think this was the Dark Magic palette. And I'm going to go in with that shade Busted, which is that really pretty teal color right in there. I'm going to take a smaller blending brush, dip it in there, and just take a little bit of this and add it to what we're doing, to our crease. So I started looking at what shade I wanted to put on my eyelid, and I'm kind of stuck between two. So I have the L'Oreal Paris um, single eyeshadows, and I have two colors. These are so amazing. I love this. These. Oh, I'm the way. I love these so much. I have different colors, and I'm stuck on these two. This one's the color Endless Sea, which is a really pretty blue color. Or I have Silver Sky, and I'm not sure which one to put on my eyeball. And I have them swatched right here. I don't know if you guys can see, but this one's the silver one. This one's the blue one. And I'm thinking about the silver one because it picks up a lot brighter. In the sun but I'm not sure I'll probably just do man okay I think I'm gonna go in with the silver because I'm gonna have a lot of blue out here and then my lip is gonna be blue so I'm gonna add the silver and it's a lot brighter too so I'm gonna grab a packing brush and then I'm gonna spray it down with my Morphe setting spray and we can go on in I'm gonna go ahead and use this Morphe M421 looks like this and I'm gonna spray it first because it's hard to pick up this type of shadow with a dry brush I usually use my finger, but since I'm doing kind of like a cut crease moment, I might have to... Actually, I'm going to kind of go in with concealer first, and then we'll go in with the shadow. Okay, I decided to go in with the silver one, since I'm going to have a lot of blue everywhere else. I'm going to start with um, 
adding concealer into my eyes to clean this up a little bit and then I'll go ahead and pack on the eyeshadow because I usually go in with my finger but I want this to be a more clean look so I want to add some concealer that way the shimmer has something to stick to so I'm going to clean this up really quick Okay, now that I got the concealer on there, I'm going to go in with, another, with a clean flat brush and I'm going to spray it down first. And then I'm going to go in with that silver eyeshadow. Let's see which one's the that side. That one's the that side. And I'm going to go ahead and pack it on the spot where I added the concealer. That's not really working the way I want it to, so I'm going to wipe off my brush and I'm going to Put it again, but I'm going with the blue one instead and see how that looks. So let's go ahead and try this one out instead. Honestly, it's not coming out the way I want it to come out. I thought that blue would be a lot more pigmented. It's not all over my eye yet, but I can already tell it's not working. So I'm going to go in with a different thing this time. I'm going to go in with the Makeup Forever eyeshadow palette. And I'm going to go in with that blue shade right in here. I think this is an old palette. I'm not sure. My brother gave it to me like a long time ago. So I'm just going to put some on my brush because it's like an actual eyeshadow. And it's kind of, kind of a similar color to what I just put on my eye there. Oh, this one's a lot better. Okay, now that I got that, I'm going to carefully uh, go in with like this pencil brush and go back into that Jaclyn Hill palette with the shade Busted. And I'm just going to grab a little bit onto this pencil brush and carefully go over the cut crease just to define it a little more. Now that that's on there, I'm going to go in with this white liquid liner from NYX. It's just their colored felt tip liner and I'm going to use the shade White instead of a black wing liner. I think white is more like mermaidy if that makes sense. So. That was rude. I'm gonna add this on and I'll be right back. Okay, so this is pretty much just the eyeshadow. So just those couple colors and white liner and it's kind of like a cut crease moment. So it's not too bad. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start with my face now. And as you guys know, I haven't used primer in a while. So I'm not gonna go ahead and use primer, but I am gonna use my normal foundation and concealer, just a Maybelline 24 hour concealer and my Tarte uh, concealer foundation and my Tarte Shape Tape concealer and same powder. Um, I guess I'm gonna stop there so I so after I powder my face and um, spray everything down I'll come back and show you guys the rest because this is pretty much kind of my normal routine but I need to do some other things to the face makeup so I'll be right back okay one pro tip you have to be very careful when you're doing your concealer around your eyes foundation I didn't get too high up there I did do my regular concealer but I made sure not to go too far out because if I would have messed up this is supposed to be a sharp line and that would have messed it up, but I did go in with like a brush like this with concealer on it. I just kind of, kind of added the concealer myself and then I blended some of it out with my finger, but just letting you know, we gotta be very, very careful with that. And okay, so I already have my foundation, powder, concealer, everything, and um, I'm just missing like bronzer and things like that, but I don't need that right now. So I think I'm gonna finish my lower lash line first. I'm not gonna go with mascara or lashes yet. I'm thinking I'm gonna do that last, but right now I'm gonna finish my lower lash line So. I'm going to grab a flat sm smudge brush here and I'm going to go back into my Lunar Beauty palette and go on with that shade that we first put on which was Kiki and just add some onto the brush. I'm going to smudge that under there. Then I'm going to go in back, back in with my Jaclyn Hill palette and go in with that main shade, the busted shade. Put that underneath there as well. And then I'm going to take another clean... Um, Smudge brush. It's one, this one has less hairs than the other ones. And I'm going to go in with that transition shade from the Morphe 35B, which was Scandal. And I'm going to take some of that and kind of blend this out a little bit. Then I'm going to go in with that L'Oreal Paris um, eyeshadow that we wanted to go in with at first, but it didn't work out. This one's in the shade, what is it? Silver Sky. And I'm just going to use my pinky and use it as my inner corner highlight. Take a little bit and add it under here. Underneath my eyebrow. Just a wee bit. Now I'm gonna take the Soriel Paris eyeliner and water water <laughs> line my lower my waterline. I think I'm looking kind of spooky now, kind of Halloween-ish. So that's great. So um I'm gonna go in and do like the mermaid scales now, and I'm very nervous about this. 
This can be hit or miss because I've never done this before. I should have practiced before I did this, but I'm not going to. So I'm just going to go for it. So all you need is some fishnet type of leggings or some mitt or something. I'm going to go ahead and use these leggings and I can stretch them out so I can make it to whatever size. So I'm going to open this up. You could just get them like at Walmart or wherever. It really doesn't matter. So I'm going to go ahead and open it up. All right. You want to be very careful. I know this looks odd. We're going to carefully place this over your head like this. Then I'm going to go in with my Laura Lee Los Angeles Party Animal Palette. I can't lift the palette right now, but I'm going to go into that dark shade Karaoke. And hopefully I get the scale like look that I'm looking for. That's why it's really important to powder your face. When this is also why I haven't put on lashes or anything like that yet. Now with the same brush, I'm just going to clean it off really quick. And I'm going to go in with the next shade over called Damage Control, which is a lighter blue color. And I'm just going to go in. All right, time to reveal. Hopefully it doesn't look like garbage. Cool. I kind of want to add more now, but now I can't. All right then, not too bad. To cover these other areas, I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of glitter. Um, I'm not sure, I'll probably just add this blue glitter because I have blue and I have silver. Probably just gonna add the blue glitter and I'm gonna go in with this NC Mineral Cosmetics Mineral Glitter in the shade Ocean. I honestly don't feel like I have to use a glitter glue because glitter sticks to everything, but I might just have to. So I'll probably just go in with this glitter glue. It's also from the same brand, the Mineral Cosmetics, and I'm going to go ahead and put some on my brush. Then I'm going to go in with, it's a really pointy, small little brush. I'm going to go in and pick up the glitter, add some. You can pretty much just add it wherever you want. It's Halloween. I mean, glitter can go wherever you want it to go. Okay, before I keep going with adding all this glitter, I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eyes. So I'm going to add my mascara, which is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise Mascara. And I'm also going to add some lashes. And I'm going to use my Ardell Wispy Lashes because I love how wispy and pretty they are. So I'm going to add those really quick. And then I have one more thing to add to this and then the lip. And then I'll be right back. Also for, forgot to mention that with the glitter, um, I was using a brush, but then I kind of got over it and I was just getting kind of lazy. So I started using my finger and I kind of like the messy look that it gave me. I still need to add a little more glitter in different spots, but um, I'm going to put on some lashes now and I think I'm going to add the lip right after it well, while my lashes are drying. And I'm going to go in with the um, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit in the shade, the shade is teal. And I think once I have that and my last finishing touch and my hair, I think it's going to... It's gonna work out, so I'll be right back. Okay, I think it just started coming along. But it came along once I put the lipstick on, so I feel pretty good about that. So I'm gonna add some uh, gems. I don't know if I wanna do one on each one or a big one and a small one. I probably would add a big one and a smaller one right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab, oops, let me put my glitter back in the cap. Well, actually I might need this, I'm gonna put it on the side. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my glitter glue or my eyelash glue. I'll grab my glitter glue and I'm going to go ahead and grab one of the little gems. I'm probably just going to grab maybe like these two right here, the big one and then the small one. Probably those two just on top of each other right there and I'll show you what it looks like right after that. So usually with gems, it would be better for you to use like eyelash glue and then like put it somewhere, let it get tacky, add your jewels with the glue and then glue it on your face. That way it stays on there longer. But I just went ahead and just used my glitter glue only because I don't have to worry about it lasting all night but you guys might so um I think I'm gonna add a little more glitter throughout my forehead and then I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair so when I think of mermaid I think really big voluminous curls so I'm gonna go ahead and curl my hair and then add some volumizing dry shampoo and make it really voluminous and cool and then we will come back to end the video 
All right, guys, so that brings us to the end of this makeup look. Let me know what you guys thought down below, if you guys liked it, if you didn't like it. I know there's a lot of different types of mermaid makeup around there, but I wanted to do my interpretation of it, and I feel like I had a lot of fun. I definitely could have added some more scales, but I feel like the glitter and just the scales together, I, I don't know, I kind of like this, and the lipstick and the blue, and I really tried really hard on the eyeshadow especially. And yeah, I... I love it. So let me know what you guys think. Give this video a like as well if you like these type of Halloween maybe inspired makeup tutorials. Maybe I could do more in the future for you guys. And also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. I do post videos every Sunday at 10 a.m. just for you guys. And I love doing them. And I just want to say I love you guys so, so, so much. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.